It's Monday, the first day of the working week as we uh, go into the marketplace. How did your day go? Well, my Monday was very challenging in a variety of ways. However, I had a number of good things happen to me, and uh, that brought me to some ways that perhaps I can even help you. So uh, let's begin. And let me ask you this question. Once I heard that someone said this, you know, once you become your own business owner, once you become an entrepreneur, you will never feel fear again. You'll never feel fear again. Do you believe that? I'm not so sure I do. Well, what is the rest of the story? Well, we'll have some fun on Monday as we tell you the rest of the story, and then we get to that four-letter word for life that is vital for you and I to understand as the prayer and the principles of the Christian entrepreneur continue. I'm Stan Houston. Let's go. Well, we are back, and I thank you for your time. Once again, you are in tune with radio that's got a bit on the edge. We call it the Jesus Entrepreneur Program. We are trying to build a tribe all around the world of Jesus entrepreneurs, brought to you by TCEN Global. TCEN Global, which is uh, the uh, worldwide name for the Christian Entrepreneur Network. Obviously, we shorten it both for domain purposes and for the fact that that's the way you have to position your life and your business today. Something short, something that will reach out and touch people. So, TCEN Global. And I celebrate today. Now, we originally started this program doing something under the rubric of tcentrepreneur.org, but thanks to some counsel with some wise friends and colleagues, which is wonderful when you have a network, we decided that the legal name of the company is very strong and powerful, the Christian Entrepreneur Network, but to make it in terms of doing business as, to make it start, <laughs> start with a strong statement, we decided TCEN Global. And we then changed the domain name to TCENglobal.org. TCENglobal.org. Easy to remember. And my colleague, uh, Isaac, along with his team uh, and uh, his uh, wife, Rachel, who has been very, very helpful in a lot of the work we do, they put together our new website web stage, and we're going to invite you to see it open up. Now, it is never done. It will always go, and it will always grow, and it will always change. We would like to believe that when you go there, you'll find perhaps something new every day in terms of, first of all, the radio program. Secondly, a variety of teaching videos that will be free for you to see. And then a variety of services that we are going to help you with. Now we're talking about the seven principles. And uh, you need to know those seven principles to be a Christian entrepreneur. But you're also going to discover that we have seven services. What we have done is we said, if you're going to make it in the ice age, in the internet connected experience economy, that's the one we live in you're going to have to be able to take advantage of and become very good at at least some of the seven services that are vital for the uh, internet connected experience entrepreneur for those people who are trying to build a significant business in the digital age. So certainly we're going to have some inspirational and thoughtful and relational things, perhaps some entertaining things, but we want to be different in that uh, our team, this TCEN global team, we have gurus and experts and uh, engineers in all of the variety of services that you will need to help your business go and grow from uh, optimizing that YouTube channel for enhancing that uh, WordPress, Word Portal, 
public relations, spokesperson, radio, podcast, those things that you will need to have at least some expertise in in the 21st century, starting right now today, we can help you. And you'll find those at tcenglobal.org. And there'll be a number of uh, things that you can explore there. And as I said, it will go and grow. So that made Monday very exciting for me. So I was grateful for that. So today, however, I want, and we're going to keep it a little bit shorter today because it's Monday and uh, you're tired. You had, a, you had a big day. But it's a significant day because we've been going through the seven uh, principles that are necessary for you to understand. And you may recall, first of all, we did the prayer. Then the first principle is you've got to serve somebody. You better understand that. Number two, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And uh, in the message of the day that the pastor brought to us in our church, it was so well organized to, in effect, discover just exactly that uh, Jesus in his prayer for us was saying, take care of them because these are my precious spiritual beings. Your life is not a human experience in which you patch on some related and perhaps just proverbial and nice spiritual uh, patches. It is fundamental to who you are. And then number three, you are created. That's right, you are created to create things. Join the master entrepreneur. We were made in his creation image to create things. That's a given. Now, as you create things, and perhaps create and sustain and nurture your spirit, not only will you be in the created image of God, you will begin to have more the likeness of God as you become more and more like the Jesus of the Jesus entrepreneur. Image and likeness. Think about that. Some of this is kind of deep stuff, but uh, if you're a Christian entrepreneur, you know you can't be shallow. you got to be a thinker, a person who's a follower, a person who's a challenger, a bit of a disruptor. You are a man. You are a woman. You are an adult who is thinking deeply about how you make life and business and family and your spirit work in this day, in this age, in this marketplace. Well, today I want to go into principle number four, and here it is. I oftentimes say, what is a four-letter word for life? And people look at me, well, a four-letter word for life is life. No, the four-letter word for life is R-I-S-K, risk. The four-letter word for risk <laughs> is life, and the four-letter word for life is risk. And we only become all that we can be, and we're made to be, as we take significant risks. Well, here's the story. He was an experienced and veteran entrepreneur, and he was speaking at a conference for aspiring entrepreneurs, just like what we're going to do sometime. And he began his little uh, address by saying, Once you start your own business, you will never feel fear again. Long pause. Perplexed looks. And then he smiled. He said, You will graduate to sheer terror. <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope that's not always true. But uh, right now, I'm going through a lot of challenges. And I was reminded by a, a mentor who said, please keep in mind, God sometimes delights in having you be right in the middle of the crucible, right in the middle of the mess. Uh, things are tough right now. And in some ways, God may not bring those things in, but he'll be fine with them happening to you because that's when you will truly learn to talk to him, to think about him, to be present to him, and most importantly, 
to have faith, trust, and dependence on him. Well, here we go. What does all this mean? Now, you see, it is in a life of taking risks that we find out who we really are, and we find out more about how God really works and who he is. So, that's why we proclaim, those of us who are going on this journey together, that God wants you to be an entrepreneur, or at least to think and act like one. God wants you to live a life of taking risks and high dependence upon him and his power, his direction, and intentions. And over the weekend, I was reading about the life of Abraham, who is one of our first entrepreneurs. In effect, he was kind of the creator of the belief in one God, at least in terms of mankind, right there. He became the one, and he heard the voice of God, and basically, guess what God told him to do? Get up, get moving, go where I tell you to go, do what I tell you to do, become what I want you to be, and if you do, it'll go well for you. But guess there's one thing you won't know. You will never know for sure what's going to happen to you but go and do it anyhow. And in our culture today, of course, we all want certainty. We want security. We want to know how things will work out. Will the plan make it happen? How much money will we have in the bank account? Will we always have a good job? Are we going to be okay? And what Abraham discovered is that when you did things God's way, uh, you didn't know for sure what was going to happen. And that's what happened. <laughs> now, what is true is that I've discovered that there is more to it than that. God wants you to be an entrepreneur because I know part of what's going to happen to you. All right? Here we go. First of all, you will give it your best, do everything you can, and you will fall flat on your, that's right, right on your behind. You'll fall flat on your face, flat on your behind. You will fail. And then you have to find out what that is all about. And you're going to have to go about doing it. You will, with grace and grit, gain greater self-acceptance and gain greater courage. Remember the story of the woman at the ranch who said, I became brave? Something else might happen to you in your entrepreneurial experience that may give you a taste of the Jesus life. I have, and there's a good chance that you too will be, just like Jesus, betrayed. That's right, the B word. Like Jesus, one of your friends, partners, colleagues, someone you trust, will turn on and hurt and betray you. Now, when that happens, and it will happen, how are you going to handle that? God wants you to trust him and depend on him in the best of times and in the worst of times. There will be times as an entrepreneur that you will have to be like the people in the 12-step program. As the first step says, you realize that you are powerless to get out of the mess you are in by yourself. You see, it is often at the end of self that the power of God begins. And guess what? God thinks that's a good thing for you to learn, to know, and perhaps to share with others. So there you go. Now, obviously, I admit, and this is from my book, Fully Alive, that uh, these are kind of a series of random thoughts and perhaps a little bit of muddled theories. But it all comes down to the understanding that for the Christian entrepreneur, principle number four, right in the middle of the seven, right in the middle of the entire experience, is to know that you were called to take big risks because that is what a life 
of powerful faith is all about. You are meant to take big risks because that is what a life of faith is all about. And that's why I always say, may deep blessings be yours. I'm Stan Houston. This is the Jesus Entrepreneur, TCEN Global. Thoughts on life that works. Life that makes a difference. Life that is fully alive. We'll be right back. Well, there we go. I hope you will be tuning in to TCEN Global. And within the week, the book will be coming out fully alive. It'll be in PDF and Kindle version. Some of you will pay a little bit for it. Many of you will just get it free from me. But it is a way to help you discover what it will take to live an entrepreneurial life. I've been involved in broadcasting and teaching and performance coaching for many, many years, and I'd like to help you. So right now, this is a little bit of a self-promotion, I admit it. We're here to help you. Our website will show you the services that we can provide, but there are perhaps ways that I can help you. So if there's any way that I could help you with your life and your business, if you have any questions or comments, cautions, please be in touch with me. You can call me. I'm uh, on the go this week and uh, be all over the <laughs> all over the country. But uh, 520-664-7002. I'll be in touch with that magic phone that I carry around. Or you can reach me at radioedge77 at gmail.com. Radioedge77 at gmail.com. We are building this network of people who will help you make a difference in your world, in your life, and in your business and in your relationship to all of those things that are truly important. Because that's what God is all about. What is truly important. It's Monday evening. All the best and blessings as you head into Tuesday and the rest of the week. May it go well with you. May you be blessed. Bye for now. Thank you.